Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural and nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin. You have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of biology, what is in the world of the body, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the Bright Side. We are your go-to resources, resource for all things health and nutrition. This is where we just do the common sense, not the memes, not the belief systems, the common biochemistry sense of how the body works. If you have questions about a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that eight Four four two three six sixty ten is our number on the right side. Eight four four two three six sixty ten. If you have questions about the longevity products or business comments or success story you'd like to share, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, or if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, make some money while you're doing it. If you're entrepreneurially minded, if you want to start a business without having to deal with all the infrastructure and the inventory and all the startup costs, then you want to know about the longevity business. You want to join me in my, in my mission to help educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can help change the world and make some money at the same time. Sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off of the websites brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com, or call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you're looking for some high-end connoisseur skincare products, if you're not satisfied with your moisturizers and anti-aging products, and your medicine cabinet is filled with products that don't work, which is to say most products, you need to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, including our Retinol 5% Gel. If you're dealing with dark spots or thinning skin or fine lines and wrinkles, Retinol is the way to go, folks. Only Retinol and Vitamin C have been shown definitively, voluminously, study after study after study points to the fact that retinol, vitamin A in its retinol form and vitamin C in its fat-soluble form can not only prevent but also reverse broken connective tissue that forms that ends up resulting in wrinkles and fine lines you can find out all about our truth skin health products at truthtreatments.com never any preservatives fragrances fillers waxes emulsifiers surfactants waters water silicon or oil in any of our truth skin health products truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com <clears throat> excuse me all right we uh, welcome back to the bright side friends <clears throat> excuse me if you have heart disease, you're probably seeing a cardiologist, and the odds are slim that he's going to be talking to you about your connective tissue, yet we know that much of what we call heart disease, cardiomyopathy, the leading cause of death in this country and around the world, is indeed a connective tissue problem. When we think of connective tissue, we maybe think about the bones or the joints. If you're particularly savvy, you may think about wrinkles in the skin, and as I said earlier, Wrinkles and fine lines and many of the effects or many of the signs of aging are the effect of connective tissue breakdown. But you're probably not going to associate, and certainly your cardiologist isn't going to associate heart disease with a connective tissue problem. If you do have heart disease, you've been diagnosed as such, more than likely you're going to get put on a protocol that will address the mechanics of your heart with a stent or an angioplasty or a balloon or a bypass. 
your heart may be poisoned with a beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker or some other toxic pharmacology. If your doctor is particularly lazy and particularly ignorant about biochemistry, which is to say most doctors, unfortunately, you may get a statin drug. Or even worse, you may get put on the latest salvo in the feeble-minded anti-cholesterol strategy of dealing with the hearts, a, a drug called Repatha. Repatha is a non-statin drug that lowers cholesterol genetically. It's like Humira or Embrel. This is the latest thing that doctors like to use. It's an injectable, and it'll cost you $14,000 a year. I'm not kidding, folks. $14,000 a year to lower your cholesterol. Not only is this stupid, with a capital S, not only is this dangerous because cholesterol is so important, but it's also going to cost you $14,000 a year. Who the heck would do this? What doctor would ever do this? Oh, perhaps it's a doctor who's reading uh, the journal of the Amer American Medical Association, latest article here, uh, latest edition here, article on Repatha. Reducing levels of low-density lipoprotein cholesterol with intensive statin therapy reduces the progression of coronary atherosclerosis. Okay, that means statin drugs lower uh, or reduce atherosclerosis. Great. Now, the next step is uh, P uh, PCSK9 inhibitor. That's a drug that knocks out the gene PCSK9, i.e. Repatha, has an even additive effect to statin drugs. And now they're recommending that if you're on a statin drug, you should be thrown on Repatha as well. This article in JAMA concluded, among patients with coronary disease treated with statins, addition of Repatha resulted in a greater decrease in a greater decrease in PAV, that's the size of the atheroma, after 76 weeks of treatment, a year and a half of treatment. So you put, get put on this drug, which you have to inject into your blood once every two to four weeks, and now your LDL drops even further. And so they say, oh, well, your atheroma, your, your blood, your, your, um, the cholesterol in your blood vessels, well, that decreased. Is that a good thing? Well, we don't know if that's a good thing. Do you know statin drugs, while everybody recognizes, will reduce the size of a cholesterol plaque, doesn't necessarily reduce heart attacks. It doesn't necessarily reduce mortality. Reading from an article in the Journal of Clinical Lipidology, why statins have failed to reduce mortality in just about anybody, written by Dr. Colin P. Rose. Pay, quote, patients believing consciously or subliminally that their cholesterol is under control because they take a statin drug may postpone embarking on lifestyle changes. Concluding, quote, lower and lower may not be better and better. We must question the way statins work because, listen to this, they effectively do not pre prevent cardiovascular and all-cause deaths. They don't work is what they're saying, at least not to prevent mortality and heart attacks. Yes, they will shrink your your cholesterol plaques, but they don't necessarily keep you from dying because it's not the cholesterol that's the problem. I don't know how many different ways I could say this. I don't know how long I'm going to say it. I need to say it. Folks, it's not the cholesterol that's the problem. It's the connective tissue that is breaking down. If you get put on a statin drug, if your doctor suggests a statin drug, or if your doctor suggests this awful repathogenetic way of manipulating cholesterol, say no. Build your connective tissue. Use glucosamine. Use vitamin E. Use vitamin C. Use your bone broth protein. Use cartilage. These are all much more effective than lowering, statin, uh, lowering cholesterol with a statin drug, and that doesn't even include the toxicity associated with a statin drug. The stupidity of this strategy is so deep and so profound, it's hard to know where to even begin. For one thing, cholesterol is not the cause of heart disease. For another, you need cholesterol, particularly the LDL cholesterol, which is whose levels are lowered by this new drug, Repatha. LDL is involved in keeping the immune system healthy. It's important as an antimicrobial. According to a 2007 Israeli study, patients with a low LDL cholesterol have 15 times the risk of developing cancer, five times the risk of con contracting sepsis, which is blood poisoning. And this is a drug, this Repatha drug anyway, that you have to inject right into your blood every two to four weeks for $14,000 a year. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. All right, we are back on 
on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We will get your calls here in the bottom of the hour. Try to call in early so we don't have to leave anybody on hold or cut anybody off. I hate doing that. Uh, let's see here. If you're interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% Shell, if you're starting to notice fine lines and wrinkles, or if you want to prevent fine lines and wrinkles, or if you're dealing with acne blemishes, retinol is amazing for helping improve the condition of acne-prone skin. If you have dark spots, retinol 5% gel or truth retinol 5% gel is what you want to check out retinol is amazing stuff but if you go to the salon or you go to the doctor's office or you go to the department store or, or sephora or any of these stores that carry uh, carry supposedly fancy schmancy skin health products you're not going to find 5% retinol anywhere nobody knows how to do it i've discovered how to do it over 32 years of compounding pharmacy experience I started a skincare compounding pharmacy. Many, some of you guys know this. I started a skincare compounding pharmacy, the first and only skincare compounding pharmacy in 1991. I had it, had it for uh, 25 years or so, 24 years since I sold it a couple years ago. And I learned how to develop skin health products. And I learned how to develop skin health products that worked because in the pharmacy setting, we can't play games. I was dealing with burnt skin and broken skin and eczema skin and, and acne skin. And when I was selling a skin health product on a prescription, I couldn't play games. And that's why I developed my Truth Skin Health products. It's the real deal. It's what I learned over 32 years of experience put into jars of skin health. Skin health products, our retinol 5% gel, our true serum, truth balm, and truth omega-6 healing cream are all based on concepts and ideas that I developed over 32, year, 32 years of experience as a skin health compounding pharmacist. Do you think Dr. M Dr. Murad or Dr. Dennis Gross or any of these other so-called doctors who are, got their name on skin health products, you think they're actually in the lab making skin health products? You think they know what an emulsifier is? Do you think they know what a preservative is? You think they know what an active ingredient is? They're calling a guy like me to make their products for them. Anyway, you can find out all about our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have had a heart attack, if your arteries are blocked, please understand there are many non-medical strategies you can use depending on how significant your blockages are. Now, if you're 50 years old or you're 60 years old or you're 70 years old and you've been indulging in the standard American diet, standard American lifestyle, you may need to have a surgical procedure. You may need medical intervention. All right? If you've been if our body's been trashed for decades, well, you know, you may need to have some kind of medical intervention. I'm not I'm not saying it's never necessary or never appropriate. But on the other hand, you may not. And just because your doctor tells you something doesn't make it true. The dumb things I hear doctors say are almost endless, and I've heard it for 30-plus years. Just because your doctor says something doesn't make it true. If you're young and you want to prevent the problem from occurring in the first place, or if you're even older and you want to prevent the problem from occurring in the first place, or from getting worse, you have options, and it has absolutely nothing to do with eating less cholesterol, with it throwing out your egg yolks. It has everything to do with building your connective tissue. In this way, nutritional strategies can be incredibly important. This is how we build connective tissue, is with nutrition, as well as exercise, and eliminating toxicity. Nutritional supplements can be incredibly important for anybody dealing with heart disease, and especially the ones that help build the connective tissue. We're talking about the blood vessel strength. We're talking about the blood, ve blood vessel flexibility. And we're talking about the blood itself. The blood itself is connective tissue. It's liquid connective tissue. And it becomes fibrotic like the vessels become fibrotic. When the vessels become injured or when they become nutritionally deficient, weakened from nutritional deficiency, inflammation sets in and then fibrosis. De uh, degeneration, deficiency, degeneration, Inflammation, fibrosis, this is what happens. Nutritional deficiencies lead to degeneration, lead to inflammation, and lead to fibrosis. And this same thing happens inside the blood as well as it happens in the vessels. Using vitamin C, glucosamine, essential fatty acids are incredibly important, EFAs, omega-6s and omega-3s, both of them are important for the connective tissue. Essential fatty acids work at the genetic level to turn genes on that help produce connective tissue. They are genetic transcription enhancers. They enhance the production of proteins and fibers 
and, uh, and, and strength materials from the genes. EFAs do. Protein is important. All the protein. All the amino acids, I should say. And all proteins, especially cartilage protein, bone broth protein. If you have heart disease, get to brightsidehealth.com and order bone broth protein and start using it right away. It is way more important than a statin drug for dealing with the heart, for dealing with the connected tissue of the heart. Copper and zinc, magnesium, these are all way important for cardiovascular health than anything you will get from your doctor, anything. And of course, you'll get beneficial effects. You'll get, instead of side effects and toxicities, which always occur when you're taking a prescription drug, even if they're not listed, just the very nature of a prescription drug, just understanding the very nature of how these things work tells you that you can't get away without toxicity and adverse reactions. Remember, the body is clearing statin drugs or antibiotics or calcium channel blockers or whatever prescription drug you can think of, the body is clearing it out as a poison. The only thing a body doesn't know is a poison in terms of ingested materials is food and nutrition. Everything else is a poison. And yes, that include, includes much of what is in herbs. That alone tells you why you want to stay away from these things. A prescription drug is regarded by the body as something to eliminate, as something to get rid of, as something that is the enemy. And only a doctor would think that this is a good thing to medicate the body. Med comes from the word middle, by the way. Medicine is a middleman. Your doctor is a middleman, just like priests of old were middlemen. And they, they used to say back in, in, the, in the dark ages, the so-called dark ages, the, uh, the Middle Ages or the early Middle Ages, the priest would say, you know what, just give us 10% of your salary and we're going to talk to God for you. We'll, we'll take care of it for you. That's why they had to have the Reformation. Martin Luther was like, what the heck? What is this idea? You give the priest, the priest intercedes on your behalf, the priest is a middleman? Well, of course, today we're too smart to have priest middlemen. We got doctor middlemen sticking their nose where it doesn't belong in our business. The doctor, medicine is a middleman. We don't need middlemen. We need good food. We need nutrition. We need some exercise. We need to learn to relax the body. We need oxygen. Where do you hear a doctor in that equation? Nowhere. All right. Vitamin C, glucosamine, EFAs, amino acids, bone broth, bone broth protein, copper, magnesium, zinc, vitamin A. These are all way important for anything, uh, for, any, uh, for all heart disease and anything you get from a doctor. And this is so important. Interestingly, connective tissue building substances, particularly glucosamine or N-acetylglucosamine, which is how we got onto this topic in the first place a couple months ago, and hyaluronic acid have blood thinning properties. Hmm, how interesting. Do you ever hear anybody say that? Except for on this program, glucosamine will thin your blood and hyaluronic acid will thin your blood. And for that matter, polysaccharides that are found in... Uh, in a few, uh, algae, like the Fucoid Z, algae-containing products, and seaweed, and, and the Fucoid Z will also thin your blood because all of these help support connective tissue, and the blood is connective tissue. Using your Fucoid Z is more important than any statin drug for helping you deal with heart disease because it helps thin the blood and helps build, build connective tissue. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We're coming back with more good health information and your phone calls on the Bright Side right after this. Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com, also uh, benfuchsarchives.com, and of course you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off our websites as well, ben Fuchs, uh, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. You can purchase Longevity products off the sites as well, and you can also call 866-735-2470. Excuse me, 866-735-2470. If you've got questions or comments, or if you just want to uh, purchase products, you can do it right off the phone, 866-735-2470. Okay, we'll get your calls here in just a sec from the uh, Journal of the American Medical Association. Cholesterol drug shows promise to help reverse heart disease. This is the drug or path, and this is the article I was talking about a little bit earlier. Uh, apparently, 
doctors are all excited because now, for the first time, a new drug given with a statin has proved to shrink plaque that is clogging the arteries. Amgen, the company that makes this stuff, loves this idea because they're making $14,000 or they're selling the stuff for $14,000 a year. Repatha sales were $83 million in the first nine months it was released. Now that is a little bit lower than they were anticipating, but it's still some serious money. And with money like that, you're going to be bombarded with marketing, even if it's not just marketing on commercials, but marketing from your doctor, because that's what that is, is marketing. And, uh, uh, and, and pleas and inducements to use these kinds of strategies, yet we know that lowering cholesterol does not reduce mortality from heart disease. From uh, the Journal of Parkinson's Disease, Parkinson's disease patients benefit from physical activity. How do you like that? According to Dr. Christian Duvall, exercise should be a lifelong commitment to avoid physical and cognitive decline, and our research shows that this is true for individuals with Parkinson's disease. Moving the body is so darn important. The body's musculature and connective tissue, which are linked together, operates on a use it or lose it principle. The body is, is supremely economical. It will not waste resources where those resources are not required. And that's, this is why uh, our sedentary lifestyle is said to be the new smoking. Sitting is the new smoking. Because under conditions where the body doesn't need to move, it's not going to expend precious resources on building connective tissue and building muscle and building the body. That's why moving the body is so darn important. Every once in a while you hear people say, well, my, uh, my grandfather, he used to smoke and he ate all kinds of lard and bread and he lived to be 100 years old. Well, you know what? Your grandfather was farming and chopping wood and walking to the store. He wasn't sitting on his butt watching TV all day. Moving the body is critical and it doesn't take much. Get on a rebounder for 30 seconds. If you feel tired in the middle of the day, one of the greatest ways to get an increase in energy is to get on a rebounder or to walk up and down the stairs really fast. You can just get on a treadmill for 30 seconds, folks, and move intensely with a high speed. Don't just take a little stroll in the park, but get on the treadmill and run as best as you can anyway, and you'll feel a surge of energy. It may take about 10 or 15 seconds after you do this exercise, but you'll feel a surge in energy because what you've done is you've amped up your electrical energy. And of course, in the long run, if you do it enough, you're going to build connective tissue, build muscle tissue, improve the lymphatic drainage, the drainage of toxins out of the body, improve lymphatic circulation, improve blood flow, improve oxygenation. Can you name a drug that can do that? All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go back to Alaska and uh, finish up with Elaine. Did I cut you off yesterday, Elaine? Hi. Uh, yeah, sorry. We got disconnected there. I'm sorry. What's going on? How can we finish up with you? Yeah, just wanted to, I guess, great uh, advice on the deep breathing. Just was also calling uh, for any recommendations uh, other than the tangy tangerine and vitamin D. which I'm For thinking. lupus? Yeah, for the, for oh. the, kind of the tachycardia that is kind ah, of... Ah, that's right, the tachycardia. You're the physical therapist, right? Correct, yes. Okay, so you got to tell the body it's safe. Tachycardia it represents a body that doesn't feel it's safe. And you can, you can make up any way you can, you can sing to your body. You can make up any strategy you can think of to make your body feel it's safe. Did you, are you a mom, Elaine? Do you have kids? Did yes. You, okay. With one Pretend one. your body is your baby. Pretend your body is a child, a little child. And in a way it is. It's got the innocence of a little child. All right? It'll do whatever you tell it to do subconsciously or consciously for that matter. You understand what I'm saying? So you want to love the body, nurture the body, be kind to the body, talking to the body, singing to the body. I mean, it sounds silly, but these are ways that you can nurture and love the body. Nutritional supplementation nurtures and loves the body. This is why nutritional supplementation is so important. It tells the body there's plenty of resources, that life is good. This is why supplementation works. This is why oxygen works. Oxygen tells the body it's safe. And I'm being a little metaphorical and simplistic here, but that's essentially what's happening. You're telling the body it's safe. Tachycardia represents a body that's freaked out. Arrhythmia is the same thing. Fibrillation is the same thing. You follow me, Elaine? Mm -hmm. Sugar tells the body it's not safe. After you get a tiny little bit, uh, the amount of sugar, and that includes bread and pasta, 
that we eat tells the body it's in an emergency posture. And this is why keeping your sugar intake down or using the B-complex and zinc and magnesium and uh, the ultimate niacin from longevity, which all help you process sugar, can be very helpful for the heart. Things that are helpful for helping the body process sugar are also going to be good for the heart. The ultimate selenium is a key player in cardiovascular health. Nutritional deficiencies in selenium are common, and selenium is also very important for helping the body process sugar. Selenium actually acts like an insulin mimetic. It can mimic some of the actions of insulin. So get on the ultimate selenium as well. Make sure you're not eating a lot of calories. Calories, after you have a certain amount, represent an emergency. Cal calor means heat. Calories represent heat, and the body doesn't like to have heat any more than a computer likes to have heat. So keeping the body cool, and then making sure you're getting small amounts of exercise with large, long, luscious periods of rest. Lots of rest, but within a context of exercise. All right, Elaine? Thank you so much, Al. One last thing. If you have any digestive toxicity or, or, or are there any digestive toxins getting into your system through a leaky gut, you got to work on that as well. Probiotics can be really helpful there. All right. Al. I hope I helped you, Elaine. God bless you. Have a beautiful day, okay? All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Cheryl in Georgia. Good morning. What's up, Cheryl? How you doing? Hey. Hey, Ben. Yeah, I had to give the, my doctor the finger today. Oh, hey. no. I hope you didn't. I hope you didn't involve me. No, <laughs> Did you see? <see? laughs> I don't need no. any more medical enemies. I've got plenty. No, 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 no. I had to have a cyst removed, so I tell everybody I gave the doctor my finger. You know the finger. Oh, you're uh, so yeah. funny. How cute yeah, are you, no, Cheryl? Hey, you know. All right. He, well, um, I, I, he wanted to give me pain meds. And I said no. You I gave don't him do part that. of your finger. You gave him part of your finger. You had a cyst. Well, he had the whole finger, but it was, it was, it was. I've had it for about five years, but it, it was a non, uh, I don't know what he called it. It, it was a growth. It was a, it, yeah, it was a growth. It looked like a big old um, uh, cyst or a, a callus kind of thing. And, and, and um, you've had, anyway. Now, wait a minute. A callus is different from a cyst. Well, I know, but it looked like it. It, kinda looked, it looked like, like a callus, but, but was it officially a cyst? Is that what he said? Yeah, it was officially a cyst, yeah. So okay. He had to go in there. I watched him cut it out. Okay. Well, well I, I'll tell you what. i got a bunch of calls I want to get to, so I'm going to put you on hold because we got a commercial. And then we come okay. back, ask me a question. Tell me how I can help you, okay? Yeah, I just, yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, just hang on. we got to take a break, and then when we come back, we'll finish up, okay? I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Cheryl, what's cooking? How can we help you? Well, I just, I just wanted to know if you had any suggestions on something to kind of curb the pain. I just slammed my finger in the door. Oh, just now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, about 10, 15 minutes ago because it's, uh, you know, it's bandaged up and it's sticking straight out, driving Oh, home. no, I, the same I finger? Turned wife, I turned my wipers on about six times. I'm thinking, dang, this thing's sticking out here. <laughs> oh, my goodness, ice. Ice it. Get, ice, get your, ice it. Yeah, absolutely, you want to ice it. Um, okay. And then uh, make sure you're using some nutrition to speed up the healing. How much skin, how much tissue did they take out? Uh, Is there, you got a big hole like, there? Yeah, but he, he he sewed it up internally and then sewed it up on the outside. Get on the glucogel caps right away. Get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Let me give you some ideas for healing. This is for anybody who wants to heal quickly. You should ideally, excuse me, ideally you want to do this before your surgery. You always want to load up with nutrients before your surgery. I'm sorry. We, go ahead, Cheryl. No, I do that. I do that. Okay, good. Every day. Well, get yourself on the glucogel caps, bone broth protein, uh, vitamin C. Take extra vitamin C. You'll get some of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but take extra. Make sure you're using your omega fatty acids, omega-3 uh, and 6. They're both important. Uh, okay, 50, milligrams, 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day, vitamin E. I would use the mixed tocotrienols, 800 to 1,200 IU a day. You guys, vitamin E is remarkable, absolutely amazing for accelerating the healing of the skin. Now, you can't take 
well, you can, but you don't necessarily want to need to take super high doses for a long period of time. Uh, but super high doses for a couple of days, three, four days, five days even, uh, can be amazing for speeding up the healing of tissue, of skin. And I'm talking like visibly and dramatically. Also, aloe vera can be very important for healing. If you can get uh, aloe vera topically, that would be good. But you can also use aloe vera internally and the Fucoid Z also. Uh, I'm going to move on. Cheryl, anything else? No, that's it. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Good luck. God bless you. Have a beautiful day. Have a blessed day. Okay. Okay. Take care. Okay. Let's go to Andre in sunny California. What's up, Andre? Hey, good morning, Ben. Good morning. Uh, My wife, uh, she has a uh, bulging disc in her neck. Okay. uh, Between C4, C5, C6. Painful. And yesterday, the dog... Yeah, the doctor told her uh, she has no choice but having surgery. And I was well, to... just because a doctor tells you something doesn't mean it's so. I want to be right. very clear here. Doctors, not that they're evil people, but some of them are ignorant. Some of them are self-serving. Some of them think they're just helping you out because that's what they were told to do. So it's not like this is, I don't mean to be attacking the medical model, but I'm here to support you. This, is, this program is about the individual, and unfortunately, in our world today, our institutions are pitted against the individual. And so, as, as, as an individual yourself and as a supporter of individuals, I tell you, please do not take your doctor's word for anything, any more than you would take your plumber's word for anything. We have to become sophisticated and critical thinkers. And this means questioning everything, including what I'm telling you here today. I try to simplify things so it makes sense. So it's just easy to understand why these things are true. But I don't necessarily want you to believe everything I say either. But as Ronald Reagan said, trust yet verify. As they say uh, in the Islam faith, trust in God, but tether the camel. Always want to have an open mind, but you want to test. You don't want to be Pollyannish. You want to just kind of have an open mind and then test things out. When it comes to bulging discs, surgery is not always a good thing because sometimes people are worse off after their surgery, particularly in the neck. So do some research on surgery. It's not a sure thing. You follow me, Andre? The next thing you want to understand is is when you have a bulging disc, what that technically means is the disc is sticking through the connective tissue or the disc is breaking through. The connective tissue is weakened, is what we're talking here. You follow me? That's what a bulging disc is, a weak connective tissue. If it's happening in the the back and the neck, it's happening in the rest of the body. So she's at high risk for all kinds of things, which is why if you use connective tissue building strategies, which is what we've been talking about now for, you know, at least a couple of weeks, not only will will her disc benefit, but she's gonna have, uh, her longevity will improve as well and her risks of long-term degenerative diseases will drop. So for one thing, maybe the first thing is keep her sugar down. Sugar destroys connective tissue. We're gonna talk about that here in the next few days, how sugar destroys connective tissue. That's called glycation. It's a reaction between sugar and the connective tissue. That's number one. Keep her sugar, treat herself like a diabetic, which she more than likely is uh, pre-diabetic or diabetic. How old is your wife, by the way, Andre? 50, 5-0. Oh, uh, okay, so guaranteed she's in the, she's in the disc glycemia mo, uh, range. Everybody is. So you got to work on the sugar. Uh, second thing is if she has any digestive health issues, you got to work on that too because you're only going to be able to utilize what you absorb. In terms of nutrition, you're only going to be able to take advantage of what gets absorbed through the gut. If she's got leaky gut or she's got intestinal issues, which she probably does, then she's not going to be absorbing her nutrients. So get her on the nightly essence. Have her using the ultimate enzymes with meals and between meals on an empty stomach as well. That can help with some of the pain. And then also uh, the bone broth protein, cartilage, bone broth itself, the glucogel caps. And every time she does the glucogel caps, she should do some Beyond Tangy Tangerine with it because vitamin C and glucosamine go together. In fact, she should be doing some BTT with her bone broth and bone broth protein. Anytime you're doing cartilage, glucosamine, chondroitin, um, any, any of the cartilage, hyaluronic acid, any of the, the components in cartilage and your mission is to build cartilage or build connected tissue, you want vitamin C. In chemistry, we say vitamin C is the rate limiting step, meaning without vitamin C, nothing else works. And vitamin C is completely non-toxic, so you want to err on the side of more rather than less. Make sure she's using her ultimate EFAs, nine a day, and she probably should take those with meals. 
Right? There's probably a few more things that you want to do. Vitamin A is important, 20,000 IU of that a day. Uh, magnesium is important. Get her on the osteomag and have her using her Fucoid Z. Uh, but that's a great start for you. All right, Andre? And don't forget to move a little bit. Yeah, if she's got, if she's in pain there, she's not going to want to move a bunch. But maybe rolfing, body work, some kind of uh, 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 intense body work. That's what rolfing is. Intense body work, not like a Swedish massage, although that might be helpful too. And then also hot water can help uh, help release, help kind of soothe it a little bit. Although too much hot water can increase the swelling, so you want to be careful with that. All right. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, one more thing, if I may, if I may ask you another question. Yeah. Um, I, I share your information with my wife a lot, and but our main question is, if this 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 uh, the supplement is so good, why isn't it like the news talk about that? If it's such a why would you think they would? No, no. I understand your question. I I I, I get it occasionally. If that's so good, why don't we hear it about it in the news? Or if that's so good, why don't we? Uh, why doesn't our doctor tell us about it? Well. Let me reverse that, Andre, and ask you a question. Why do you think it should be on the news or would be on the news? Ask your wife that. Why would your doctor tell you about it? You see what I'm saying? So I understand that, well, the news, everybody knows the news. is They want to let us know things. They want to let us know the good stuff. They want to help us, take care of us. Everyone knows the doctor cares about us. Well, these are premises that need to be examined. Why should the news have it? Can you make any money on nutrition? Nutrition's cheap compared to drugs. There's no nutritional supplement that'll cost you $14,000 a month. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. there's there are there are agendas, there are hidden agendas, and those hidden agendas don't involve your wife's health or your longevity or mine. You follow me? That's why I was saying it's the institution against the individual, and the institutions are maintained by the media. They're uh, they're maintained by as the as the, the CIA calls them useful idiots. And I, I'm sorry to use that phrase, but that's not I didn't invent that phrase. That's a CIA phrase where they manipulate uh, uh, people who are authorities and opinion shapers, and they use them. You follow me here, Andre? Why should the news yeah. tell it? Why should we hear it on the news? Ask your wife that. Well, what makes her think it should be on the news? Or, or that any, anybody in the mainstream should tell you about this. All right, I'm going to move on, and we get one more call in. Thank you, Andre. God okay. bless you, my friend. All right, Mike in Colorado. What's going on? Got about a minute. Hi. Hi. Hey, uh, hey. Okay, I've got a granddaughter. She's under six months of age. She's had diarrhea for three months. That's and, not uh, good at all. Is she breastfeeding? Yeah, my uh, daughter-in-law, is. she's breastfed. Um, Mom's got a problem. about she- it. Well, hang on, hang on. Yeah. Let's get, let's finish this up here because we're going to run okay. out of time. Is mom up? I know. Is the baby only breastfeeding? Yes. Okay. Then mom's got a problem. All right. Yeah. Mom is yeah, not healthy. Just, oh. Been doing an elimination diet. Like well, you mom's got to get to the bottom of this because diarrhea means that the kid's trying to expel something. And yeah. while she's trying to expel something, this toxin, whatever's getting into the system, she's losing electrolytes, she's losing B vitamins, she's losing nutrients. She needs to build and grow and thrive. So this is not a this is not to be messed around with. If she's seriously had diarrhea for three months, this is a, send me. Hey, Mike, do I have we you and I talked yeah. before, Mike? Yes, Mike. Yes, have we met? No, I haven't never met you yet. Send an email. Send an email. I only got about 20 seconds here. Send an email to Ben at KSCO.com. Put your phone number in there and I'll call you. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for listening, friends. We'll continue with Connected Tissue tomorrow. And uh, have yourselves a beautiful, wonderful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.